everybody. Today's tutorial is for um, beginner Salesforce admin and we're going to talk about the different types of tabs available in your Salesforce org. So let's get started. As you can see, if you type in tab from your setup menu, you're going to click on this tabs and it will take you to this page. And there are different types of tabs called custom object tabs, web tabs, visual force tabs, lightning component and lightning page tabs. We're going to look at each of them. So the custom object tabs, if you see here, we already have few created. So what happens is when you are creating a custom object, there is a checkbox on that object creation page. So right here, when you scroll it all the way down, it says launch new custom tab widget after saving the custom object. So if you select that checkbox, it will take you to the tab page, to this page. Let me go right there. It will directly take you to the tab page and you can define your tab and the tab style you want to choose. But if you do not check that checkbox, the custom object you created will not have any tab. So this is where you want to come to be able to create a um, tab for your custom object. So create new and it will show you all the objects here, all the custom objects in your org. Let's say I want to create lead association and then I'm going to select a tab style. Click on it and you can choose anything you want. I'm just going to go with the boat and next. Also, you can define tab visibility, which profiles need access to those tabs, right? You can put it right here. I'm going to just say default on for everybody, but you could apply different tab visibility for each profile. Okay. And then click next. And also this page right here, it adds those tab to your custom apps. Let's say there is an app called sales. Let me find it, sales app. If you do not want this new tab, most of the times what happens is the tab is maybe specific for one certain um, app. That's when you just include it for that particular app. Let's say I'm just going to include it for sales, standard lightning app, and there you go. I'll also show you how to add it for a different app. Let's say if you, do not, if you did not include it here, how to add it to the app. We can see that as well. So that's how we create the custom object tabs. Web tabs are um, let you use URL link um, when you're creating tabs. So I create, as the name says, web tab, create next. And you could select from full width or two column. Here we just, let's say I'm, I want to Google tab. And the tab style is the same. You just create a tab style for the tab. Uh, it's a flag. And then, oops, I clicked something, I'm sorry. Bear with me here. Click next. And then, Google tab style. Wait for it to load. I'm going to say chalkboard and click next. Don't worry about the splash page for now. And then you can either use your organization fields, which is really cool. For example, you have certain um, link or a site maybe, and you want people to go here. You could also use something like a, for your user if you want to search for that person on Google, something like this. Just a, just an example. So I'm gonna say full name. Name name. Let's just go with the first name. Copy this link and it's very similar to um, writing a 
email template, you copy the link from here and then paste it here. Next, and very similar to what we did with the custom tab, include, and I'm going to include it for all the, all the apps for this demo and save it. So that's a web tab. Now, what is a Visual Force tab? As the name suggests, Visual Force page, um, it will have, sometimes you create a Visual Force page, for example, a um, list of all your top opportunities or accounts, whatever it may be. You want to create a tab for that? That's how we do it, Visual Force tab. So it will list out all the Visual Force pages in your org, and you'll be able to click on it and take it from there, so save it. And everything else is similar process, so I'm not going to show you that. This is very interesting for me, Lightning Page Tabs. We'll get to it after Component Tabs. So Lightning Component Tabs, just similar to Visual Force Tabs, it lets you click um, create a tab for a component. But there is a special requirement for this, meaning your developer whoever developed that component should um, implement or ext extend the component to force app host hostable. Something like this. I'm just going to show it to you for your... Right here, when you see here, it is implementing force app hostable. If this is not there, that component won't appear on your um, tab uh, selection list. So, right here. Since that has app possible, I can see the component here. Otherwise, it won't show up there. So, that is how we create a Lightning Component tab. Next is Visual for, uh, I'm sorry, uh, next is the Lightning Page tabs. So, Lightning Page is a totally uh, customizable and you can create it very easily. So before we go actually to create a lightning page tab, let me show you how to create a lightning page, right? So click on app, um, type app there, and let's go to the lightning app builder right here. If you have seen my previous videos, I have uh, a, a video for record pages and home page and I wasn't able to create one for Lightning App Page. So that's what we're going to do now. Lightning App Page. And so all you need to do is click on App there and test it. I'm just gonna type it as test. And let's just say one column, finish. So I'm just going to drop a dashboard here. I'm not sure if I have any dashboard. Okay, let's just drop a list view then. List view, account, all account, and just cross that out and save. So, <clears throat> there are two different ways to create your Lightning app page, just like custom, just like a custom um, tab. While you're creating a Lightning app page, it gives you an option to be able to create your tab right here so if you I would not recommend using activate for all users or you could but if you do that what's going to happen is if you add that page to app everybody will be able to see that tab right away so that's not a very good practice because most of the times um, not all users need that so and you can also change your icon right here. And so as I said, you could add it to your apps right here. All right, so I'm going to add it here. And even you can add it in your mobile app if you want or not. So, and then click Save. Save again, just in case. Go back. Now, what will we see when we go to the tab page? So let's go to our tab page again. Tab.
Voila. So, lightning page tabs, I just created one and it appears right here. Because the only reason it did that was because I added it or I made it available. So, even if you click here new, let's say you didn't like the style or something and then you, you can even create it this way. That's what I'm trying to say. There are different ways to get, achieve the same result and you can create a tab style here, uh, select a tab style here, which is pretty much um, similar to what we get in here, right? Make sense? Okay, so, and it s tells you right there, created by Lightning App Builder. So, the one of the use case for this one would be, for example, you need, um, what I used it for was for a home page tab for mobile, because if you are aware, Salesforce mobile doesn't have a home page or a home tab like um, like in, on the desktop version. So I had to create a um, I had to create a Salesforce uh, mobile version of that home page. So what I did was created a app page, just like we saw just now, an app page, and added it to the mobile tab. So it was called home. And I added different components to that home page or that lighting page because you are able to add whatever you want to add on that lighting page. And then when we go to mobile version, there will be a tab called home. And it kind of um, is like a mimic of what we see in desktop. So that's something just um, what I implemented for. But it could be used for multiple purposes. Let's say if you need a tab just for a dashboard right then you are able to create a lightning page and add one component dashboard sometimes only that dashboard is needed by all the people so if you go to a dashboard tab from here it doesn't look very clean because you you are it, you are seeing all these different folders and dashboard name if you have so many dashboards in your org this will be this won't look very clean sometimes your users only want to see one dashboard in that case you could create a lightning page with a dashboard component and then create a tab for that page and add it to your um, add it to your maybe sales app and then so that they have easy access to that dashboard just an example so that's all for today um, I will I will um, probably um, have a continuation video for this because I wanted to show you how to ask, add those tabs to the apps and feel free to ask any questions if you have or any ideas or how did you how did you use your lightning page tabs please write below in the comments thank you so much for watching